Assalamualaikum and hi students. So this is the last lecture video for PMCG 1013 Differential Equations. Chapter 5, Partial Differential Equations. For this last video, we will cover the last two LOs which are to apply the finite difference method in solving wave equations and to solve hyperbolic equation using finite difference method. 5.4.1 hyperbolic equations consider the wave equation okay as an example of hyperbolic equation you have del square u over del t square minus alpha square del square u over del x square equal to zero with interval x and t then boundary condition x equal to zero and x equal to a equals to zero and last we have initial conditions when t equal to 0, it is equal to fx. And when you have del u over del t, t equal to 0, you have another function gx. Okay, when we use finite difference method to the wave equation at point x, i and t, i, we have the approximate value to this. And then we assume r equal to alpha k over h to simplify the formula. So we have this simple the simpler formula for wave equation. But you need to remember this uij plus 1 with the r equal to alpha k over h. Example 5.1.1. Use the finite difference method to solve the wave equation. Del square u over del t square equal to del square u over del x square. x is from 0 to 1 and t is any positive number. So, Alpha, again, from here, alpha is equal to 1. Okay. With the boundary condition, when x equal to 0, x equal to 1, it is equal to 0. And initial condition, we have, we have these two. But normally, we just uh, focus on this u, x, 0. Okay. Just ignore this del u over del t for numerical method. Okay. u, x, t equal to 0, you have sine pi x plus sine 2 pi x. The step size for x is 0 0.2. Step size for t is equal to 0 0.1. Okay, as usual, start with sketch the grid line. Okay, for the grid line, we have t and x. x is from 0 to 1 with h equal to 0 0.2. So, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1.0. As for t, t is from 0, where is the t? t is from 0 to 0 0.2. So, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Oops. Okay. For this example, you have 18 point as well. Label them. U zero zero, U zero one, U zero two, U one zero, two zero, three zero, four zero, five zero, U zero one one, U two one, U three one, U four one, U five one, U one two, U two two, U three two, U four two. U5, 2. And then substitute the boundary condition first. Okay. Boundary condition U0, T. U0, T equal to 0. So U0, T. Any value of T, X is equal to 0. So this 3 point. Okay. So you have U0, 0 equal to U0, 1 equal to U0, 2. All this is equal to 0. And then U1, T is also equal to 0. So, x is equal to 1. t can be any value. So, these 3 points are equal to 0. U52 equal to 0. Simple. Okay, and then substitute the initial conditions. Ux0. Ux0 is equal to sine pi x plus sine 2 pi x. Okay, so this four point, okay, u one zero, u two zero, 
U30 and U40. The coordinates for each points are 0 0.20, 0 0.40, 0 0.60 and 0 0.80. Substitute all these x's into this sine pi x plus sine 2 pi x. So you have sine 0 0.4 pi. Okay. So sine 0 0.4 pi plus sine 0 0.8 pi sine 0 0.6 pi plus sine 1.2 pi plus sine 0 0.8 pi plus sine 1.6 Pi. Use your calculator and as usual, make sure it is in radian mode. Answer for U10 is 1.5388. This one 1.5388 as well 0.3633 and for 0.4 use 4.0 it is 0.3633. And then we, you will use these all points to solve for these eight points using the formula. Okay. To use the formula R, we need to find the R first. R is equal to alpha K over H. Okay, Alpha is 1, K is equal to 0 0.1 and H is equal to 0 0.2. So 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.2 is 0 0.5. Okay, when we have once we have R, we can find the formula U I J plus one equal to R square U I minus one J plus two I minus R square U I J plus R square U I plus one J minus U i j minus 1 okay, substitute the r first so 0 0.5 square u i minus 1 j plus 2 1 minus 0 0.5 square u i j plus 0 0.5 square u i plus 1 j minus u i j minus 1 0 0.5 square is 0 0.25 2, ma 2 multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.25 is 1.5 uij plus 0 0.5, 0 0.25 ui plus 1j minus uij minus 1. Okay, then you use this formula to find the 8 points. Let's say we try with u11. U11, I is equal to 1. J plus 1 is equal to 1. J plus 1 is equal to 1. So, J is equal to 0. So, U11 is equal to 0 0.25. U1 minus 1 is 0. J is 0. Plus 1.5. U, I is 1. J is 0. Plus 0 0.25. U i is 1 plus 1, 2, j is equal to 0, minus u i is equal to 1, j minus 1, 0 minus 1, so negative 1. Substitute the value 0 0.25, the value for u 0, 0 is 0, plus 1.5, u 1, 0 is 1.5388, plus u point 0 0.25 u 0 is 1.5388 minus u 1 negative 1. So what is the value for u 1 negative 1? How we find what is 1 negative 1? Okay, so basically u 1 negative 1 will take the value of u 1 1. Okay. u 1 negative 1 is equal to u 1 1. Okay. So, if you have U11 over here, you can move this U11 to the left-hand side. Okay. So, you have two U11 now. 
minus u11 becomes plus u11. So this is equal to 2.6929. So the last answer for u11 is 2.6929 divided by 2 which is 1.3465. Some more for U21. Let's, let's see for U21. For U21, you have 0 0.25. U21, I is equal to 2J plus 1 equal to 1. J is equal to 0. So U25, U10. Okay. 2 minus 1 is 1. J is 0. Plus 1.5 UIJ. 2, 0. Plus u 0 0.25 u 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 0 plus, sorry, minus, minus u i is 2 j minus 1 is negative 1. Again, this is equal to your u 2 1. So u 2 u 1 1 is equal to 0 0.25 multiplied by 1 5. 1.5388 U2.0 is 1.5388 plus 0.25 U30 U30 is 0.3633 So U11 is equal to 2.7837 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.3919 No, this is 2, 1 U, 2, 1 Okay For the rest of the points You have U, 3, 1 is equal to U, 0 0.4194 U, 4, 1 U, 4, 1 is equal to 0 0.2271 As for U, 1, 2 It is equal to 0 0.8289 U, 2, 2 0 0.9905 U32 is equal to 0 0.5570 Lastly, 0 0.042 U42 is equal to 0 0.1277 Okay, that's how we solve the wave equations using numerical methods So that's all for this video That's all for this subject Thank you. Bye.